What the frick, Ben? How could I let you convince me into coming here? Can you believe the people in this place? My idea. You begged me to bring it's you. It's not like a health group, it's more like a cult. And, and you know what? And what does he mean, I don't know what pain is? He has no idea what pain is. He lost everything, Francie. His family, his job. So? Sheesh, Ben. You don't have to rub it in my face. What are you trying to get away from? Get away from? <laughs> nothing. I have nothing to run from. I have nothing to complain about. I have no problems. I make up problems to make myself feel pitiful because I, you know, I've had such a perfect life with my damn perfect grades and perfect family. What makes your life so darn special? You complain all the time and now it's because your life is too perfect? Well, it's not like we need Mythbusters here, Ben. What do I do with my life? I'm a complainer. Everything is a big deal. It's all right to complain. Life's not perfect. It's hard. I wish I, I wish care I care about anyone. I crave attention. I, I, I pretend all the time. I fake everything that I've ever done or complained about. And this, pretending to want to kill myself. I don't have the big brass balls to do something like that. I make my life hard because I have nothing interesting or stories or memories like you or anyone else in there. They're dying in there. And all I can think about is how I'm in a worse position than them. But I'm not. I'm a fucking fraud. God, Francie, if you stopped talking for once and maybe listen to something else, you might get something out of life. Well, it's better than not saying anything. It's not like you say anything. Because you don't shut up. Just shut up for once in your life. You think your life is so miserable? But maybe if you just stop sitting alone at your own place feeling sorry for yourself. Because you've never taken the time to ask how I feel. Never. And I'm pretty sure that goes for everyone. Maybe Paul's right. You need to grow up, Francie. Are you okay? No. <laughs> you know why I've stuck by you so long? Because in first grade I said I'd beat you up if you didn't act like my bodyguard. The irony. Bodyguard getting beat up by the person he's supposed to protect. Why not get snot on it? <laughs> no. I mean, thank you. I'm like a huge asshole to you all the time. Not all the time. Half the time. But not all the time. Anyways, if I didn't care, I would have left you long ago. <laughs> <laughs> 